Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, what we're looking at here is a 15-minute chart of the ES. We talked yesterday about 1833 half price level. We also discussed uh, the matching lows here at 1820, and we had indicated in a chart that I had sent out in the morning. This is what I sent out in the morning. I sent this out and just indicated that 1820 half needs a test. Uh, the test of the 1820 lows from last week are likely setting up a trade for the rest of the day. A break is a gateway to the middle band and a bounce solidifies the area as a floor. So what we did was we traded down and through to 1817 quarter. We glided back up to test 20 half. And what you want to see there if you're a bear on the retest is you want to see resistance and then a new low. And that would have opened the door to, uh, you know, could have been all the way down to, to, to the 1809 level. But the bulls fought back like they, you know, like they usually do. They pushed it all the way back up to 1826, which I identified as resistance. The bears were able to move it back down to the close and have a potential uh, uh, to push it back down lower. What we've seen, though, in the overnight is a potential higher low here uh, that flattened out uh, back at 1820 half. Okay, it's a little easier to visualize there with the blue line is the 1820 half level. And we'll back it out first. You can see these were matching lows from back at Christmas Eve. Then we broke through them. They really tried to be resistance for about an hour. Bulls break through come back down, and we try to make a, high, a, a a new low below it. It turned into a higher low. The bulls were able to climb back above it in the overnight, and at this point, the bull, the bears are very close to losing control of the tape. The bears wanted a lower high, something below this 1826 resistance area. They have not gotten it. They have not gotten it. We're now over 26. And being over 26 is pretty bullish action if 26 stays preserved through the open through the regular open then the bulls have a chance to make a move back towards 1833 half if 1826 can get broken again and confirmed as resistance then the bears essentially have the same job that they had yesterday getting back through 20 half now they got to get back through 17 quarter before they can go to work on some of these lower levels. So I'm sensing a little bit of a, a of a move today. It seems to me with jobs on Friday, we typically see a walk up. And that, in addition to everything else, seems to be advantage bulls. So I um, am going to be looking to buy dips today as long as 1826 remains as support and as long as 1820 half uh, remain support. So, you know, there are some big areas on the chart that will let you limit your risk as far as trading things today. 26 is a biggie. 26 is a biggie. It's as big as 33 half now. It's as big as 20 half. It's, it established itself yesterday as a key area. Key right here is resistance. Key on the breakthrough. And I extended the line out. Now you can see it's becoming key as support. So that's got to play out. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us at Princeton Trader. We'll have charts today. Uh, you know, we'll be talking. We'll be talking the day out. Come uh, check out the website. Subscribe to the website. You get the posts faster than than trying to 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 rifle through your Twitter feed. And come and take a free trial to the chat room. We would love to have you. Uh, people are uh, you know coming in, checking it out, and they're liking what they see. So. Uh, come by, take a trial, and see if we can help you. Okay, everybody have a great day. I will be back uh, tomorrow morning with another webcast, and I will be out tonight with an evening uh, with an evening recap. Uh, we'll we'll start talking things through and start looking to forward to the jobs number. Have a fantastic day. Trade them well, everybody.